okay today we are going to discuss laplace transforms so what is meant by laplace transform and what is the definition of the laplace transform we will discuss first laplace of f of t so f of t is a function then laplace of f of t how we can define is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt okay this is the definition of laplace of f of t so laplace of f of t means integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into the function then it is called the laplace of f of t so t should be a positive number t should be a positive number and the second one this integral should exist these are the two conditions in the laplace transform of laplace transform of a function f of t so laplace of f of t is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into the function into dt t should be greater than or 0 that means it should be a positive number and this should uh, this integral should exist okay this is about the laplace transform of f of t now we will discuss some basic elementary functions of okay first one so laplace of 1 is how much let us discuss laplace of 1 is nothing but laplace of 1 is how much uh, 1 by s okay laplace of 1 is equal to 1 by s this is a first formula second formula you come across with if you laplace of a constant k then it is k by s that means if it is 2 2 by s if it is 3 3 by s if it is 4 4 by s okay next formula is laplace of 0 laplace of is of 0 is equal to 0 you remember this one okay next one laplace of t laplace of t so laplace of t is equal to 1 by s square laplace of t is equal to 1 by s square okay similarly laplace of e power a t laplace of e power a t 1 by s minus a 1 by s minus a this s minus a should be greater than 0 okay so laplace of e power a t is equal to 1 by s minus a next formula laplace of e power minus a t laplace of e power minus a t is nothing but 1 by s plus a 1 by s plus a so what is the difference between laplace of e power a t and laplace of e power minus a t if it is plus a t here you are getting 1 by s minus a if it is minus a t you are getting plus a okay next one laplace of sin a t laplace of sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square laplace of sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square similarly laplace of cos a t laplace of cos a t means s by s square plus a square s by s square plus a square so sin a t means a by something cos a t means s by something that you have to remember always next formula i will write so laplace of hyperbolic sin a t laplace of hyperbolic sin a t so if it is sin means you will get a by something if it is hyperbolic you are going to write s square minus a square so here it is s square plus a square if it is hyperbolic you are writing s square minus a square next formula is laplace of cos a t hyperbolic cos if it is cos means s by something so hyperbolic means s square minus a square okay now you can uh, differentiate between these two and these two so hyperbolic always the denominator is minus 
for sin it is a by something for cos it is s by something okay next you should know one more formula about the linearity property so linearity property this is also simple one so that is laplace of laplace of c1 into f of t c1 into f of t plus c2 into g of t g equal to you can write this one as c1 into laplace of f of t plus c2 into laplace of g of t so simple what he is saying is laplace of a constant into a function plus a constant into another function you can write it as you can write the constant outside and you can do the laplace of the function that he is saying nothing else is there okay so this is about the definition and introduction of the basic formulas we have so definition what it says i will write it here laplace of f of t a function f of t is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt okay this is the basic definition of the laplace t should be a positive number and this integral should exist okay this is about the basic definition and formulas of the Laplace transforms. Okay.